was as if I gave her the whole world. The first time ever someone giving a gift to this little angel. She was overwhelmed with joy. And they started saying, nobody asks about us. Nobody cares about us. Nobody knows how we live. We are struggling here. Please, please help us. That's the Bishop Mari Mari Emmanuel reflecting on his visit to Gaza. This is the Eastern Orthodox Bishop who was horrifically stabbed today. Another stabbing attack in Australia, seemingly totally unrelated to the other one that they tried to pin on certain people. And this bishop was preaching in his church and someone ran up and stabbed him. We've, we've got a picture of the attacker. I don't know the motivation at the moment. I wonder who would want to stab Bishop Mari Mari Emmanuel. Let's do a bit of research on him. Daily Mail. Who is Bishop Mari Mari Emmanuel? Priest at Wakeley's Christ, the Good Shepherd Church, attacked in Second Sydney stabbing. He is apparently a known anti vaxxer with huge online following. The priest stabbed during a sermon at a church in the Western Sydney is a known anti-vaxxer who rallied against lockdowns during the COVID pandemic. I didn't know that. Does that mean he's against all vaccines or he had questions about the COVID vaccines? Because as I understand it, an anti-vaxxer used to be one of these nutters that went along with the nonsense that uh, Andrew Wakefield came out with. I think he was completely debunked when he tried to allege that there were negative side effects, that autism was caused by the MMR vaccine. And that his theory was completely debunked. And it turns out that he was trying to criticise that triple vaccine, MMR, mumps, measles, rubella, so that he could sell his own individual vaccines. So even the original anti-vaxxer, Andrew Wakefield, was actually trying to peddle a different vaccine. What this bishop's take on vaccines uh, is, I don't know, but it would seem he's regarded in the Daily Mail as a known anti-vaxxer but if that is because he came out during the lockdown as being against the measures and the medicine that went with it, it could be that he's one of these modern anti-vaxxers that just has a problem with the the recent ones and they're not even all the same uh, you've just got to research what's happening with Pfizer at the moment to decide um, about that particular one. So he's a known anti-vaxxer and he was critical of the lockdown. He's an anti-lockdown. I mean, remember in Australia, they were, they were telling people that if you are against anything uh, to do with the measures, if you're against any of the mandates, you are an anti-vaxxer. I remember that nutter on the TV explaining that. So it could be that he's being branded like that just because he was against certain measures, against mandates. There, at the time, there were even people that had been vaccinated themselves, but because they were against imposing it on people or imposing it on school children, when they were unsure what the benefits would be, they were tarred with the same brush. So anyway... The Daily Mail are calling him uh, an anti-vaxxer. I wonder who stabbed him then? Who would have a agenda against this Christian bishop? He has since developed a large TikTok following and has 290,000 followers on the church's Facebook. A spokesperson for the NSW police said Bishop Emmanuel suffered non-life-threatening injuries. So, miraculously, he has survived 
this attack. He is described by the Sydney Morning Herald as an ultra-conservative Christian leader and a number of his followers were stabbed at the church. Have you heard about the, the stabbing? So, I'll show you. In the church. Yeah. So this bishop visited uh, Gaza recently to visit one of the holy sites. Yeah. So, of course, we wish the bishop well. Horrific attack and maybe he has been miraculously saved. Some of the idiots, the likes of Oli London, look at this foolish, foolish Israel supporter. Crowds cheer as Christian man holds the cross outside the church where an Arabic attacker stabbed a beloved Christian bishop. Uh, this Israel supporter is leaping on a chance to divide and conquer, to make this about Muslim versus Christian. Was he Muslim, the guy who did it? Got no idea. We don't know yet. Possibly. Stabbing is a, it's an ISIS tactic. But look at the victim. This is an anti-Zionist bishop. He visited Gaza. He embraces the Muslims of Gaza and said, I'm going to visit them. I'm not afraid. People were trying to sell him. Oh, look, they, they're yeah. going to attack you. He said, I must visit Gaza. It's the Holy Land. He said, God loves everyone, Muslim and Christian. This gentleman who was stabbed today is against what you stand for, Ollie London. So why are you using it for your propaganda? And there are other people trying to make the same point. We don't know who did it yet. If it's an ISIS-style attack, all we know about ISIS is that they love to attack other Muslims or anyone that stands in the way of a certain agenda. If you believe in praying, please pray for Bishop Mary Murray Emmanuel. I have to mention this. Look, the Lord loves everyone, okay? People, humanity are very harsh. The bus driver was a Palestinian Muslim. With all love and respect, I'm saying this. The bus driver was a Palestinian Muslim. The tour guide was a Palestinian Muslim from the Gaza Strip. 